All right, so continuing with this cage system, what we had done this week is we just taken a simple chord progression of D, C, and then G. Um, and what we're doing is I'm playing this D chord using a G shape. To play this, my pinky's gonna come right here onto this, our root note. Um, let me see if I can get the camera to focus. This is our root note. This is the um, the D note. Pinky's here on the tenth fret of this E string. Ring finger's gonna come here onto the ninth fret of the next string, the fifth string or the A string. Our third finger's gonna bar the fourth, third, and second strings here on the seventh fret. It's a neat little shape. So this is our first one, and the lick that I want you to play over this one is um, basically what we have is right under our index finger is a nice little box. And what I'm gonna have you do is, let's so maybe play something like this. I think it's similar to what we had done on Friday. Um, I'm just gonna start right here for this D chord. Here onto the seventh fret of the fourth string. Then to the ninth fret of the fourth string. And let's do this. I'm going seven, nine, seven. You're on the third string. So we have. The next one. This is a C chord. I'm just playing a normal E shape. And I'm not, again, it's just an E shape. I'm playing a bar chord right here, just on the eighth fret. And what we're gonna do is I want you to remember where your middle finger is, all right? So pay attention where your middle finger is. I want you to put your index finger right there, okay? So our index finger is gonna go right here where our middle finger was. And what this does, again, this is a nice little box right here that we can play with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, this is the ninth fret of the third string, the 10th fret of the third string, or we can slide into this 12th fret of the third string. And then we can end right here on this 10th fret of the fourth string. This is a um, C note right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Da, 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 da. Just like that, if you wanna try that a couple times. This is for the C chord. like that. Again, the point I'm showing you is just kind of get you started. What I want you to do is practice these, but then also see if you can kind of use these same notes and these same shapes to kind of come up with some, um, um, you know, some pieces on your own as well. The last one that we have is a G chord. I'm playing this using a, a C shape. My pinky finger is right here on the 10th fret of this fifth string. Ring fingers here on the ninth fret of the fourth string. Third finger's gonna bar the top three strings here on the seventh fret. And my middle finger's gonna come here onto the eighth fret of the second string, and there's a C shape. And what I want you to do is I want you to, um, I want you to start right here, all right? So right here on the um, seventh fret of the second string. Go to the eighth fret of the second string, to the tenth fret of the second string, back to the eighth fret, seventh fret, seventh fret of the third string. One, two, three, four, just like that. So again, all together we have, and again, this is just to get you started. I want you to practice these individually, um, just to help you out, and then uh, what you can do after that is. Um, uh, you know, see if you can see if you can kind of use these notes to create some uh, some patterns of your own and that sort of thing. So, for the next couple minutes, what I'm going to do, and you can go back and watch rewatch those three um, those three chord shapes if you need to. Um, for the next couple minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play this chord progression. I'm going to play it really slowly. And I'm going to call out what chord I'm doing. So, for example, when I say D, I want you to come here.
kind of come here to this shape like we did. Um, when I say E, or I'm sorry, um, C, you're gonna come here like we did. When I say uh, G, G and using this C shape, I want you to come here and start playing with these notes. And again, you practice these individually. You don't even have to memorize all of these. What I want you to do is just kind of use these just to help you kind of get a good feel for where all these shapes are and where all the notes that are gonna fit in key um, are. And so you can start by just playing those, but what I really want you to do is start kind of expanding and see if you can see if you can come up with some um, um, different licks on your own. So I'll count us in, we'll just play this for the next couple minutes. Um, we're gonna start here on a D chord. I'll count us in, one, two, three. Four. We're going to go to a C. G. Back to a D. So I hope that helps. Again, the goal is just to kind of help you get a good feel. One for these shapes, um, you know, helping you know where the G chord is using a C shape and whatnot. And then also just helping you get a good feel for what notes um, are gonna fit in the key and how to play around these shapes. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you next time.